Uganda's relationship with China dates far back as 1962. Today, China is one of the leading trading partners in Africa and Uganda in particular. Chinese companies have contributed significantly to the building of infrastructure in Uganda. While hailing the Chinese cooperation with Uganda, Prime Minister Robina Nabanja asked her guests to expand Chinese investments in Uganda to include agriculture modernization. She informed the ambassador about Uganda's parish development model, which is expected to increase production in agriculture and therefore the need for modern agro-processing technology. The relationship we have between the two sister countries, that is uh, Beijing and Kampala, I want to thank you for a number of numerous companies that are helping us to improve our country. And of course, I also want to welcome to my office. And first of all, I thank you for being our link between the government of China and the Republic of China and France. On his part, the Chinese ambassador to Uganda, His Excellency Zhang Liz Hong, congratulated Uganda for the progress so far made. He particularly hailed the president for his effort to pacify the Great Lakes region. China and Uganda are helping each other. And we have uh, uh, provided some TVs and some vaccines, uh, uh, expense share sharing with Uganda side to help uh, uh, each other to conquer this uh, pandemic. The ambassador pledged continued mutual cooperation between the two countries. He said China will broaden investments in Uganda's established industrial parks. So far, the Chinese government has invested in a cross-section of industrial parks in Uganda. He assured the Prime Minister that the Chinese government will provide more COVID-19 vaccines to Uganda to ensure that the whole country is adequately covered. In another development, the Prime Minister also met a delegation from Aga Khan Development Network led by Amin Mawaji, the diplomatic representative. The Prime Minister, Robin Anabanja, thanked the Aga Khan Development Network for supporting Uganda's development effort. The Aga Khan has invested in health, education, infrastructural development, gender and women empowerment, among others. The leader of the delegation, Amin Mawaj, said the Aga Khan Foundation has been here for more than 100 years. He said development is their major focus. Doreen Nasasera reporting for UBC News.